Hey everyone, AJ here, and in this video, we're diving deep into a comprehensive 100-day roadmap designed to equip you with the essential skills to become a web developer in 2024. Whether you're a complete beginner or looking to refresh your knowledge, this roadmap is for you. We'll break down the learning process into manageable phases, focusing on key areas and learning goals to ensure you build a solid foundation. I'll also include free resources you can use along the way. Let's get started. All right, in this first phase, we're tackling the fundamentals, HTML, CSS, and the core concepts of the web. These are the building blocks of any website or web application. Think of HTML as the structure of your web page, the bones, if you will. It's the foundation upon which everything else is built. You'll learn how to use different HTML elements to create headings, paragraphs, lists, and more. Each element serves a specific purpose and helps to organize the content on your page. Then we move on to CSS, which is all about styling. CSS allows you to bring your HTML to life by adding visual flair and design. This is where you'll learn to add colors, change fonts, and control the layout of your page, making it visually appealing. You'll discover how to use CSS selectors, properties, and values to target and style specific elements. We'll also cover the box model, which is crucial for understanding how elements are spaced and sized. Responsive design will be another key topic, ensuring your website looks great on all devices from desktops to smartphones. Now, no web developer workflow is complete without version control. Version control systems help you track changes to your code and collaborate with others seamlessly. So, we'll introduce you to Git and GitHub, essential tools for managing your code and collaborating with others. You'll learn how to create repositories, commit changes, and push your code to GitHub. Finally, you'll put your newfound HTML and CSS skills to the test by building a basic project. This hands-on experience is invaluable for reinforcing what you've learned. This could be anything from a simple landing page to a multi-page website. The project will help you understand how to structure your files, link your CSS to your HTML, and create a cohesive design. The goal is to solidify your understanding and get you comfortable with the workflow. By the end of this phase, you'll have a strong foundation in HTML and CSS, and you'll be ready to tackle more advanced topics in web development. Remember, practice is key. The more you code, the more proficient you'll become. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. Happy coding! Now that you have a solid grasp of HTML and CSS, it's time to bring your web pages to life with JavaScript. JavaScript is the language of interactivity on the web. You'll learn the basics of JavaScript syntax, variables, data types, operators, and control flow. Then we'll dive into DOM manipulation, which allows you to dynamically update the content and structure of your web pages. Think interactive elements, animations, and real-time updates. We'll also cover modern JavaScript features, introduced with ES6 and beyond, like arrow functions, template literals, and destructuring. To wrap up this phase, you'll build a simple JavaScript project, perhaps a small game or an interactive form, to reinforce your learning and showcase your skills. Chapter 3, Phase 3, Front-End Frameworks, Days 41 to 60. Moving into the world of front-end frameworks, we'll focus on React, one of the most popular and in-demand frameworks today. React allows you to build complex user interfaces efficiently using a component-based approach. We'll start with the fundamentals of React, including JSX, components, props, and state. Then we'll delve into more advanced concepts like lifecycle methods, hooks, and context. State management is crucial for building robust React applications, so we'll explore popular solutions like Redux or Context API. Finally, you'll build a more substantial React project perhaps a single-page application or a dynamic web app, to solidify your understanding of React development. Chapter 4, Phase 4, Backend Development, Days 61 to 80. This phase is crucial as it forms the backbone of your web applications. Now let's shift gears and explore the backend, the server side of web development. This is where the magic happens, where data is processed, stored, and served to users. We'll start with Node.js and NPM, which allow you to run JavaScript on the server. Node.js is powerful for building scalable network applications, and NPM is its package manager, essential for managing dependencies. 
Then we'll introduce Express.js, a popular Node.js framework for building web applications and APIs. Express.js simplifies the process of handling HTTP requests and responses, making your development process more efficient. You'll learn how to handle requests, routes, and responses. This includes setting up different endpoints, managing middleware, and ensuring your server can handle various types of data. Databases are essential for storing and retrieving data, so we'll cover both SQL and NoSQL databases like MongoDB or PostgreSQL. Understanding the differences and use cases for each type of database is crucial for back-end development. You'll learn how to connect to a database, perform CRUD operations, and design database schemas. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete, which are the four basic functions of persistent storage. To bring it all together, you'll build a full-stack application connecting your front-end React project to a back-end API built with Node.js and Express.js. This integration will give you a comprehensive understanding of how the front-end and back-end communicate, ensuring a seamless user experience. Chapter 5 Phase 5 APIs and Advanced Topics Days 81 to 100 This is the final stretch of your journey in mastering web development. In this final phase, we'll cover APIs and some advanced topics to round out your web development skill set. These topics are essential for any developer looking to create robust, scalable, and secure web applications. You'll learn about REST APIs, the standard way to communicate between different applications on the web. REST APIs are crucial for enabling different software systems to interact seamlessly, allowing for the integration of various services and functionalities. You'll learn how to consume APIs and build your own. Consuming APIs will allow you to leverage existing services, while building your own APIs will enable you to offer your services to others. Authentication is crucial for securing your web applications, so we'll cover different authentication methods like JWTs and OAuth. These methods ensure that only authorized users can access your application, protecting sensitive data and maintaining user trust. We'll also touch on web security best practices to protect your applications from common vulnerabilities. Understanding these practices is essential for safeguarding your application against threats such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and other common attacks. Finally, you'll learn how to deploy your application to a platform like Netlify or Heroku, making it accessible to the world. Deployment is the final step in the development process, and mastering it ensures that your application can be used by real users in a live environment. This phase will equip you with the skills to build professional-grade web applications. By the end of this phase, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of advanced web development topics, making you well-prepared to tackle real-world projects and challenges. Outro wrapping up your 100-day web dev journey. So there you have it, a comprehensive 100-day roadmap to becoming a web developer in 2024. By following this roadmap and leveraging the listed resources, you can cover the essential skills needed to become a web developer within 100 days. Remember, consistency is key. Stick to the schedule, practice regularly, and don't be afraid to experiment. The web development landscape is constantly evolving, so continuous learning is essential. Happy coding! Let me know in the comments what projects you're working on and what you're excited to build.